Uh, firstly, thank you so much for joining us live. Um, this is something new that I want to test to see what the response is, to see if it works, to see if we like it. And then moving forward, there'll be something that I will bring in more regularly as in monthly. Uh, first of all, apologies to anybody who tuned in last night at eight o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, Deborah had to just postpone it for a few days because she had a coaching call to do. And it was totally my fault. I forgot to go back into the events and move it. So I know people tuned in. Uh, I was busy putting the boys to bed <laughs> instead. So I missed all of the notifications coming in. Uh, there was a few people that messaged me to say, are you having your baby? Uh, no, not yet. Um, don't worry. Thank you for all the well wishes and for the people that are starting to uh, say congratulations. Not just yet, it's on the way. But today, what I wanted to do in here, like I said, test it out. We're gonna, I'm going to be chatting to Amanda. And I'm going to let Amanda introduce herself very shortly. But it's all going to be about Facebook. Uh, it's going to be about Facebook, Facebook Live, how Amanda uses Facebook for her business. And we're going to see if we can just uncover a couple of little bit of tips and tricks that we could all put into play. So to get started, if everybody can see this, and I'm just trying to log into the, into the Blue Sea Community <laughs> Group because we can't see your comments, just let us know that you are here. Yes, there we are. I can see that. Uh, Paul, Jeff, Ray, Paula, Becky, Annette, thank you so much. Make sure that you can hear us. If you could please put your thumb up to say I can hear you. That would be great. And as you're all doing that, I will let Amanda introduce herself. So Amanda, over to you. Hi everyone, well my name is Amanda Clark and I am the proud owner of Class Fluid Victorian Bed and Breakfast in Clandidno, bringing you Victorian charms with modern day luxuries and, and that's about it really and, and I'm one of, one of the group, so, um, so that's me. So uh, where did you say um, you're based, sorry? Clandidno in Wales. I think, I think we've got two or three others in the group that are from Wales, so if you are watching uh, please let us know. If you're anywhere near London, no, just put your hand up and just say hi. So give us a bit of a background. How many years now have you had the, the guest house for? Uh, how many years have you been on Facebook for? Just give us a bit of a background, that would be great. Okay, so I bought my property in 99 and it was a derelict shell. And um, I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> so uh, after many hours with my dad, we just sort of gutted it and put it back into a Victorian property and then I started properly running the b, &B in I would say 2003 um, but back then we didn't have ensuite rooms it was as it was you'd share a bathroom and then as we made a little bit of money we put an ensuite in and so on and so forth until we're where I am today um, Facebook comes into play basically uh, from last year um, I got uh, together with Yvonne Hallin and um, I actually met a lady on there whose name was Deborah Dunhoft who uh, just sort of wrote to me and said would I like to follow her on Facebook which I did and and that was it we never spoke we didn't say anything to each other and um, and I just followed her quietly watching thinking oh my god oh my god I need to do that I need to do that my daughter's a business coach and um, she does Facebook Lives and I said, what do you think about me doing it for the b, &B? And she was like, oh, I think it's a great idea. Did a couple, really uncomfortable, didn't like it, felt totally out of my comfort zone. Um, and then I, I did a few, n nothing major, but I, I was doing them. And then um, this year, Deborah Dunhoff actually did a Facebook Live and I watched like every other and she said, is there anybody else out there that would like to learn to do what I do? And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a coaching session. Um, I was her very first client. I thought I need to learn what she's doing because I need to do it. And um, I just learned so much because there's so much on Facebook that I didn't have a clue on. I didn't know how to do my settings. I just had no idea on on anything. Um, I'm not technical. I've always sort of left it to my older older two children, but of course Jessica's married now and my eldest son lives in New Zealand and um I had to learn. <laughs> so um so I just messaged Debbie, I said yes please, I'd love to um have some training from you and it's gone from there. 
and it's changed my life i have to say it's changed the business so yeah what else would you like to know so we mentioned uh, Deborah or Debbie a few times. For everybody that is thinking, I know that name. Um, Deborah was meant to be online last night. Uh, we've now moved it to Wednesday and it's going to be recorded and I'm going to get it up in the group um, as soon as possible. So what we're going to talk about tomorrow is some tactics and tips that Deborah recommends that everybody does, um, which I'm looking forward to that. The reason why I really wanted to do this with Amanda is that I've been following Amanda's lives, videos on her page, um, as well as a few others in here, because I believe, and Deborah will reiterate this and Amanda will say as well, social media in 2018, especially Facebook, has had such a, a bad rap. Um, there's been all the privacy things, the Cambridge Analytica and GDPR and everything. And just Facebook seems to be taking a bit of a toll, but it is still, the most powerful way of improving our direct bookings because it's where everybody spends their time. Whether it is on a computer that we're chatting on now or a tablet or a mobile, it's the biggest social media. And I think we said about this back end of last year, Facebook Lives was brought in quite recently. And like anything, when Facebook brings in something new, you got to jump on board. And if you jump on board, Facebook will actively promote you. Um, as we all know, visibility, when you hit that post button on Facebook, is only 1%. 1% of your audience, unless you're going to give them money, will see that post. But with a live video, Facebook actively tells your audience, your followers, that you're live. And by doing so, you open up so much more than just a post. It is a video, it's an insight to you, your business. It's a story and people are encaptured by stories. Stories sell and what Amanda does so well and just sort of, if you could Amanda, break down, break down uh, a sort of a week uh, for yourself and how you approach Facebook Live and how you approach video and, and what some of the big like big bit of advice that Deborah has passed on to yourself and that you've taken on for, for what you do if you could. Okay well what Deborah states is consistency is key um, and I wanted to do a, a little bit of an experiment this year uh, because um, a lot of people think Facebook doesn't work so uh, being as busy as I was in the summer holidays I took a step back and I haven't I've been there but not consistent up until then every night um, or even twice a day depending so I would say people my followers um, they don't want to be sold to they come to me for my life that's that's what they follow me for so uh, everybody that stayed with me that follow me on Facebook know I've got a little boy called bear they love knowing what he's doing so we'll he, he jumps on lives with me we do about his karate or if he's his birthday or anything that's what they want to know they want to they follow me I am my face is plus fluid that's what Deborah has sort of instilled in me that I am now plus fluid not so much the B&B &B, even though that that's why people come as well it's it's a bit weird um, but people follow me and they want my story so then the next thing that I've had two puppies I've had three puppies but to uh, living with me permanently now um, and my daughter's has gone back so they've loved the, the puppy story so when we we're on the beach we do facebook lives of us on the beach and um, posts of the puppies in bed and uh, puppies are doing this puppies are doing that uh, we've got the wilson diaries going and because obviously puppies are naughty and just things that they do um, and that's what people are following so even though it's really weird because People are following me and the B&B &B comes into it and I do sometimes lives from a guest room. Um, most of the time, if I'm doing my eight o'clock session, it's always from where I'm sitting now um, because people want familiarity. So find yourself a corner, get yourself colours. So whatever your colours are, get a corner, paint it if you have to in reds or pinks or greens, whatever your colours are. And that's what people pick up on they they know when they see purples it's plus fluid it just it becomes a subconscious thing um and and for me 
people message me, you know, my dad's been really poorly. I, and again, I have had to thank so many people. I've had personal messages, emails. Um, I, I had over 120 messages on Facebook wishing my dad well when he had the, the bleed on the brain. So I've, I've got a nice community of people that follow me. And then the minute I do specials, so for October half term, uh, I think it was the last week of August, I put that up, so we had a special for October, and it's gone, it's sold out, because my, my regulars follow what I do, and then as soon as there's a special go out, it, they, they just book it through Facebook. You've touched upon so many cool things right there. Uh, we are going to break them down. And anything that we don't get to on here, I, I am making notes and I will pull it up with Deborah when I speak to her on uh, Wednesday evening. Let's just go to the back, uh, okay. backtrack a little bit and we'll talk about storytelling and familiarization and how you are the business. Now, one thing that I would say, and I know for a fact there will be people watching this and watching on the replay and they're thinking, Christ, am I going to have to do this every day? Do I have to put my life so social and online? I think the important thing is, no, you don't. You know, if, if you don't want you, to, then yeah, you, if you no. don't don't want to, there are some other alternatives, and I will we will touch upon them. What other things you can be doing? But Amanda hit the nail on the head: is that people buy from people. We all run hospitality businesses, especially if you've got a guest house or a hotel where you live on site and you're seeing your guests every day. It's the most social career out there because you're literally inviting strangers into your house pretty much 365 days a year. So, and when a guest is at your breakfast table, when the guest is checking out or checking in, you have a conversation, you get to know them. I think we can all now think about a guest that has been regular for the past few years that you know everything about them. They know everything about you. They know your kids and you know their kids and the family and where they live, etc. And by doing this method at what um, Amanda is talking about, it's taking that sociability and putting it online. And by doing so, and as, as a side note, by doing a live video, instead of just taking a picture and just writing, is that... Again, it feels like the person on the other end of the screen is talking to you. If it was just a post, a picture, and a bit of a written post, people could read that at their leisure. They may connect. They may speed read it. They may read something differently. But with a video, it's something you can literally pick your phone up, like Amanda says, on the beach, going live, showing the puppies playing on the beach. And it's because Facebook are actively promoting Facebook Lives is that they put it in front of the people and there's a little notification come up in the top and say, plus comment, oh, Amanda's live right now. And then they can see you're on the beach and they'll stick around. And even if they just stick around for five or 10 seconds, like Amanda said, they'll remember. And subconsciously or whenever, when they're looking to make a booking or decide on where they're going to go stay next and they decide they're going to go to Wales, then top of mind and that's some powerful things now i, I want to ask you a question about colors and branding can you just expand on that a little bit because i instantly as soon as you said that i saw gail come into the group and commented saying i like the branding idea could you just expand on that a little bit why did you decide there were your colors etc that would be really cool Okay, I, I can see I've got a bit of a glare where I'm sitting because I normally do it in the night, but my wallpaper, I don't know whether you can see it. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, so purples and creams. Um, and then it was from one of my coaching sessions with Deborah, because for me, what I always remembered about Deborah is she's reds and whites and an eagle. And, and that always stuck with me because she's, when she was um, first like training and, and, and going live and learning through her coach, um, she was told to get a corner um, and, and give it colours. So whenever Deborah came up, I would instantly think red, white and, and an eagle. And then Debbie said that that's a, a branding, that that's what I knew her as when I couldn't think of her name, to be honest with you. And I knew there was an eagle there. I just, I just kept looking for something eagle, something eagle. And she came up, Eagles View Bed and Breakfast. And as soon as I saw the red and white, I knew I was at the right page. 
Um, and, and so my colours, uh, be, because this is where I sit and I changed all my business cards and now they're purple and creams um, with silver and gold on because that's what people see when they sort of see me on my Facebook lives um, when I do a full month of um, just sitting here rambling, to be honest, because <laughs> that's what I do. I just come and just tell everybody eight o'clock and I'm, I'm going to run for the month and, you know, has anybody got any topics they want me to talk about? And it's surprising people will send me in and say, right, can you talk about this? Can you talk about that? We, we talk about all sorts, um, but it's building up that community. Uh, it just, just for an example, I had a booking in August this year from a gentleman that I'd literally put into his computer, Clan did no, bed and breakfast, Victorian, because he knew it was a Victorian town. And one of my Facebook lives came up and he watched it and he liked me and he followed me. And I didn't know any of this. And then he sat in the dining room and chatting to somebody else. And a bit of a conversation got going. And they said to him, well, you know, how did you find Amanda? And he said, oh, because um, a Facebook Live came up and I watched it and I liked how she was. And um, he said, and then I followed her and, and I booked. And he booked directly because he, he'd known when I was saying about the OTA. So we came directly to me and... I did him a discount because I didn't have to pay the OTAs and he booked for a week. But I didn't know any of that. He didn't even say that on the phone. It was only when he was in the dining room. That's and I've amazing. had so many people sitting in the dining room or saying, oh yeah, we, we follow you on Facebook Live. And I'm like, well, you've never commented. You've never, oh no, we don't like to, we just watch. So the power of Facebook is huge. Just because they're not commenting doesn't mean to say they're not following you and not booking. Again, so much gold that you are saying right now that everybody should be making notes and I am as I'm going I've literally got <laughs> notes first little thing to touch upon uh Facebook oh Facebook influences SEO just like you said there it was up to a certain point where Google wasn't ranking what Facebook was posting but now it does twitter and facebook organically ranks in google so which is important and this is another reason why blogging is important but that's for another day and another topic mm -hmm. there's a lot of questions and comments coming in about branding and colors do not worry one if october or november i'm stuck on which i've lined up a branding expert who's going to come into the group Similar sort of setup to this, and we're going to talk about branding, ideas, colors, logos. So if you're thinking, Christ, I'm going to have to now rebrand my business, or what colors are mine? Hold the horses. Give me a couple of weeks. I'm just trying to work out the dates with the branding expert, and that's going to be September, October, November. Again, just depends on when baby decides to pop out. Um, another little thing as well is that you will get so many people watching, reading your posts, and they will never engage. And then, all of a sudden, they will book. This is why, even though you're thinking, I'm only getting one like or one comment, don't stop. Consistency is the key. And you will be surprised at who is reading you. Now, talking from a personal level, You'll, you may have noticed that I do daily videos on my personal page. I do it for Facebook memories and there's a nice little journaling. So um, after you've been on Facebook for a year, for example, I get the notifications now to say, this is what you were doing on this day last year. And it's just nice to see where the business was at, where the boys are at, you know, where what we were doing this time last year. But what I've noticed is that loads of people watch it and I probably get one like per video or a couple of watches per video, but people are watching. And when I said I was gonna put an end to it in August, I did have people messaging me saying, just let you know I watched it, it's a shame it's going, and it's crazy. And it's, people will watch, and you will be surprised, the watchers who book. Like Amanda said, there's some people just don't like to like and comment, they just like to watch from the back and just take a seat back. So keep doing, you never know who is watching. Um, okay, so a question has come in. Are we talking about your business page or are we talking about your personal page that you're doing the lives from Amanda? Both. Both. Why Both. is that important? It's so important. It, it, you are your business. Um, and 
I was struggling to do everything on Plastically Wood before meeting Deborah, and um, and I've got quite a good following on there now, so she's she's not sort of <laughs> taking me from it. But Deborah builds you first. Normally, you need to be having at least a hundred um, comments on your own personal page before she even takes you over to your business page, because what you have to understand is you are your brand first and foremost. You have to become your brand because people buy from people it's called facebook for a reason they don't want to just see a post they want to see a face they want to connect that's what facebook why your rankings go up higher when you've done a facebook live um because that's what facebook wants you to promote and the minute you get um i don't know a, a comment on there yet you, you're shot up even higher in the rankings um, so for me, first and foremost, I tend to go on my own personal page and share it across to my business page. Um, yeah, so nice. yeah, good. Both, but mainly, um, mainly me. One thing I would say as well, and this is something that I'm going to be showing everybody over the course of the coming weeks and months, is that Facebook ads. And anybody who's been on the on the vault, the, the, the training site where all the videos are stored, you'll notice that there's a beginner section in Facebook ads and advanced and an expert. And Ed Davies has been provided some really good additional bonus videos. But now with Facebook ads, you can create an audience based on the people that are watching your videos. So for example, one of the settings is that you can create an audience based on the people that have watched over 50 percent of your live videos or your videos so if you have got somebody that is consistently watching so amanda's live videos are consistently watching they never like or comment or anything like that but they're watching you know that they're interested in and amanda you know they're interested in potentially booking okay and amanda could then run an ad in front of this select group of audience whether it's five people ten people a hundred people just to say Thank you so much for watching my videos or my watching my lives. You know, you're, you're one of my top engaged audience members. I want to give you a, an offer, you know, and that will go out as a sponsored ad, as a Facebook click ad to those select people, to the, to the, to the hottest of hot leads, as, as I used to call it in the salespeople, because these are people that are constantly watching, constantly viewing you, and you can just put a nice little offer in front of them. They'll notice it because, again, the branding that Amanda's spoken about, they'll notice it because of the name. And then you can just say, here's a special offer or here's an incentive to book right now. Here's the link, off you go. And, and that's the power of, of Facebook. Now, that's obviously on the business side, but I did want to touch upon that. Okay, so next one question I've got to ask here. What are some little tips that you have learned that you can pass on to everybody when it comes to during a live video? So you've set it up, you've got your colors and everything, you're, you're talking. Is there any tips or tricks that you've learned along the way just to get people to maybe quickly interact or to, to do something? Yeah, to, well, first and foremost, when you start doing your lives, if you've never done them, you, you get like on your screen a, a little thing that says one person's watching you. That freaked me out. I couldn't cope with that. I was like, oh my God, they hate me. There's only one person watching me. I cover it and I don't see how many people are watching me. And I imagine in my head, I'm a movie star and I've got thousands of people watching me and it's fine. And, and that's how I do it. And I just, I'm, you, you have to. And so I, if I was introducing myself on my own lives, uh, I would say, hi everyone, it's Amanda from Plastly with Guest House. I am your bed and breakfast specialist. You, ha you have to be, a, you know, a little bit more. You, Draw them in. Yeah, you, you just have to, I don't know, act a little bit more, you know, when they want you, I want you at the B&B &B and, you know, and whatever. And, but to get people commenting, you make a conversation with them and then you would say, uh, if, I don't know. Uh, do you want a story tonight? Stick story in the comments, guys. I'm not going to tell you this story until you've stuck comments in the story. And then they will start sticking comments in the story. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, saying story in the comments. Yeah, yeah. And, and then from there, um, you can say, I don't know. So you start telling the story and you'll say, I don't know. Do you want a tip? 
stick tip one in the comments because the more comments that you get going, the higher up the ranking you'll go. So th that's basically how I've been taught with Deborah that you you just have a bit of a list and you just ask ask people to stick something in the comments. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's a bit alien when you first start asking people to comment or to stick a thumbs up and just to click one of those emojis. But again, one of the most important things is when you get started, always making sure that people can hear and see you. So that's why I always ask at the start of every live that if people can see and hear you. The reason why I do it is that when I first started my first ever live video, I had these AirPods in and for whatever reason, they do not work with Facebook Lives. I was busy talking, no one could hear me. I was having a right old chat and I didn't check and I had to stop the video because uh, people couldn't hear me and I didn't know so. Um, ask questions, you know, yeah. like, like I said, get people to ask questions, get people to share, you know, if you ask, people will do and especially if you've built up a following if you've built up your super fans as, as we as kevin kelly uh the, the blog all about your 1000 true fans says it's you know if you ask people will will, will do uh, a, a tip that i got given a long time ago was invest in a tripod i i think is your camera on a tripod right now what other no, it's on a tin of roses as there you go. Said. That's <laughs> just it you can um, so basically keep the camera still. Yeah, yeah, it's up higher. Otherwise you'd have a double chin, you know. <laughs> yeah, so what's some little tips that you've you've got, like things like that with the tenor roses and stuff? What have, any other little tips or tricks that you do? Or what is your current setup right now? Obviously you've got the flowers and the lighting. Yeah, um and then I've got even though the writing's backwards, but it says classically with, but it's the Victorian woman that people can see there. Um I've got things that I can move around. Um, so I've got like these Victorian jars that light up at night. So I sort of place them around um, just to sometimes get something different in the flowers. Normally they light up of an evening. Um, and and tip wise, when talking, never introduce yourself first. Talk about your topic first, whatever your topic's going to be, and then give it a couple of minutes. So when Debbie's doing a live, or if anybody ever watches Debbie, she just sits and waves for a few minutes, saying nothing. <laughs> and she does that, and then she'll say, tonight's topic is blah, 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 blah. And it just gives people enough time, because you, as you said, your notification's gone on. If you've already introduced yourself, and pe people just pass by, so she just talks a little bit, just for our community to jump on, and for anybody that sort of, it just catches them a little bit more than if you've just said, hi, I'm Amanda, blah, 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 blah. And they think, oh, right. But if you can tell a little bit of a story before you introduce yourself, that's, that just keeps people watching a little bit longer. So Jane Gardner has asked, and Jane is doing really, really well with this, with videos and getting started in it. And she asked, is there a basic how to get started? From the tech sort of side as in what camera are you using lighting or is it literally just a case of just turn your phone on and go just turn your phone on and go yeah so i'm on my i i prefer my phone but i'm on the laptop today um but i really do prefer my phone because uh i don't know quite often when i do um my lives of an evening a lot of my guests will come downstairs and i get them on with me when we, we, I'll say, oh, this is, I don't know, Sandra and Dave, and they've been coming to me for the last 15 years. Say hi to everyone, Dave, and they will, you know. So I prefer to have my mobile on me, because otherwise I'd be saying, oh, come to the computer, you know. So if I've got my phone, I can, and, and obviously, I, I like to get up and have a wander around, and I'll, you know, say, mm -hmm. oh, look, the dogs are quiet. Come and see what they're doing, you know. And we, I, I just involve people in, in my life that way. I just prefer my camera, uh, um, you know. I was going to say the most important thing is to have a steady camera. So I've yeah. got a little tripod, Amanda's balancing it on a tin of roses, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So have a steady camera so where you are feeling like you're having a chat. The, most, the second most important thing is lighting. Make sure that you have light. 
make sure it's not dark so people can't see you. Uh, so I've, I'm lucky I've got the, the on the other side of the screen is, is windows. I can see is windows behind you, so bringing the natural light in. If you haven't got natural light, you can invest in a light on Amazon. It doesn't cost that much, but you put it behind your phone and it just, it just brightens everything up. Yeah. I am using my laptop now just like what Amanda is because we're on Zoom. Um, and it's using the camera in the laptop, but I also just use my iPhone. I've got an iPhone 7S, I believe. Um, yes, yeah, so iPhone 7S, and I'm just using that front-facing or rear-facing camera. Um, if you are outside, another big tip would be to in, get, take some headphones with you. The reason being is that as soon as you get outside, and obviously like um, where you're based in London, no, and I'm from Scarborough, you know, when you're on the coast it's really windy and yeah. these microphones are really sensitive yeah so, i learned that the other night yeah <laughs> i learned that the other night uh, it's just it, the wind is just howling all through the facebook live because i'd but forgotten my headphones. headphones it does stop the the yeah. interference um what i would recommend jane and everybody watching who is thinking, I want to do a little bit more with this. And, you know, the benefits are there with, with Facebook Live. We'll, we'll talk about bookings and stuff in a second. But if you want to go and look at examples, just go and see Amanda's page. And uh, I will put the link to the Facebook page in the comments after the live video is finished. But just scroll back, go click on the video link and it will bring in all the videos that have been done and just see the examples of how to do this. And obviously when Deborah's on on uh, later on in the week, I'll do the same with Deborah, and you can just sort of get to see and, you know, get to think how you can put it into your world and your realms. Now, it's really important. You don't have to think you have to jump in and start doing this seven days a week, even if it's just once a week or once a month, announce it, you know, put a little post up on your Facebook, even create an event on your Facebook page just to say, I'm going to go live, you know, build up the awareness of it you know if you've got an email list and you're still emailing people now just say just to let you know at 8 p.m or at whatever time on this day i'm gonna go live and we're gonna talk about x what do you want me to talk about um every email i send out i send a link with my facebook page on every single email there's always a link with my facebook page on amazing uh, emma just asked a question what is it that stops wind interference? iPhone 8 don't have a port for earphones. All right, so this is a little tip, a little hack that I'm going to give you. If you go onto Amazon and if you type in um, iPhone 8 earphone adapter, it's a tiny little thing. It's about that big and it fits on top of it. And on the other end is an iPhone charger connector and it plugs into your phone. Um, so it costs two pounds, three pounds, but that's the adapter that you need to get head, yeah, he normal headphones into your newer iPhones. Um, okay, so let's talk about booking. Now, it's very hard, like you said, to pinpoint what bookings have come from a Facebook Live, but just as a generalistic sense, how much can you attribute evolving your Facebook, evolving, getting involved with Lives to the bookings that are coming in? Could you say, like, don't have to do figures, but as in like. I'm quite lucky because I, I work through Beds 24. So any booking that comes in, whether they ring me or through a Facebook Live has to go through the Beds 24. So it comes up that I've actually put the, the booking into the system. And I have to say at one point, um, it's, it's got like a little circle like this on there. And it tells you uh, booking.com, Expedia, and um, me, basically, yeah. as Amanda, the other one. And I would have to say that last year, 95% of that circle said bookings.com. And uh, this year, I would say 65% were bookings.com. I get very little from Expedia. So maybe if I've had 20 bookings from Expedia this year, and the rest is me. And I'm really pleased with that. Well, 20% jump, we could say. 20, 35% jump. Oh, definitely. My definitely. maths isn't the best, so I do yeah, apologise yeah. if so someone is watching 65, this. 65%, so yeah, around 35%, which doesn't sound a lot, but it, it oh, is. It's massive, and if you do that year on year, say, then, yeah. like I say, it's all, it's all stepping stones, and that is a massive jump. I think right now, 
everybody who's watching. And how many bedrooms do you have again? Just six. Six bedrooms. So if anybody else is watching this, you know, between one to ten bedrooms, and if you were to say that by just flipping the phone on and doing a Facebook Live every now and again could help attribute between 5% direct bookings to 35% direct bookings, 30% over a season, if you think about the commission that's been eradicated, then that's, that's a big that's a big a big difference and that's a massive so well done um now just very quickly talk about um what's your plans next are you just looking to keep on doing what you're doing have you got anything that you're looking maybe to test or trial with it is there anything else you're doing in the community is there anything that you're doing is there anything you want to sort of say about what you're thinking of doing next or any other tips or tricks or anything that you want to say um no i'm just um definitely uh I've had family issues, as Mark knows, and, and I sort of, my dad had a, a, a bit of a fall, he's had a, a bleed on the brain, so my life's been manic. I'm a single mum that runs here on my own, um, and I've got a little boy who's going to be six. So my life's like really, really busy, and I will just say from doing um, emailing and doing the Facebook Lives, I ha and obviously Facebook, but um, my life, I, I've not had a day off since my last actual day off was February the 22nd I've had guests in every single day um, <laughs> and I don't get a break until I think it's a fortnight <laughs> so I've, I've worked every single day so I'm I'm um, knackered but I'm looking forward to having a bit of time off in the winter but the Facebook lives are definitely something that um, I really need to to really start pushing um, again because it really makes a difference to get to my regular guests that they're there and the minute I'm on Facebook they you know I haven't been doing every night I've been doing probably twice a week at the minute um but yeah I need to get back in and, and going every night one thing I would say everybody that's watching now and everybody that's watching back on the live if you could all just say thank you so much to Amanda for doing this like I say this is the first time that we've we've done this in the group and uh, the plan is is that if you like it and if this is something that you want to see more like I said in October in November the plan is that we'll have a set date maybe the first Monday of every month or something like that where we'll all get together in this sort of a, uh, environment on zoom uh, we'll all be together and we'll all be able to bounce ideas off each other we'll have a chosen topic a chosen subject and we'll all go in and we'll just chat about it today's been Facebook today's just been me and Amanda but in the future what I want to do is I want us all to be in here so there's 20 people live now watching this collectively we'll all be in on zoom in this style environment and we can talk about topics and subjects and bounce ideas off each, each other one other thing that I want, wanted to just say before we finish is that if you do not like being a camera on you and Amanda touched on it really well you can get your guests involved um, I've mentioned about this in the in the past that that I uh, went traveling to India with our boys last year at the start of the year and we were traveling around and we stayed in this guest house and it was in the middle of nowhere all of a sudden, at morning, at breakfast, on the day we were leaving, the owner came up to us and said, do you mind if I do a Facebook Live with you so you can do a testimonial of our guest house? I, I was like dumbstruck because I just never would have thought that it would have been a thing, but it worked so well. He went live with the boys and Laura and me and we were chatting about our stay in the area that we were staying and it was getting loads and loads of attention and likes and comments and he said that, I think... It was 80 to 90% of his new bookings now come via social media and Facebook because of that, because of what he was doing. And that is a tiny guest house in the middle of nowhere in India doing that. And the benefit was massive. So you don't have to do it yourself. Get your guests involved. Just say, you know, I'd really appreciate if you just do a real quick live video. Just tell them about your stay. Just do that. So point the camera on another place. I mean, um, Emma, in Whitby, uh, does some amazing live videos because of just events, you know, just going to events and like the, the see, the view, and just what's happening in and around the area. You know, you can do that. If you really, really don't want to do any communication, pop the camera live in front of 
um, the view and just set it up like a mini webcam. You know, if you've got a really stunning sea view or you've got a view of like a stunning scenery, just set it up like a mini webcam and just say webcam, <laughs> you know, like granary webcam or whatever you want to call it and just set that up as an alive and just do it for 10 minutes and just turn it off and again, you'll get the exposure. So hopefully by watching this, You've all picked up a little bit of tips and a trick. Um, I'm sure that if you want to comment below and tag Amanda in and say thank you so much, and if you've got any questions that, you know, should be able to answer them at some point in the future, and if, if Amanda can, and I'll be able to. But I just want to say thank you so much. Um, yeah. It's been amazing to see what you've been doing and achieving and the progress, and we're looking forward to seeing what comes next, and I hope your father's all right, and I just hope you enjoy that break. Um, I'll send you a message afterwards um, for, for somebody I want to connect you with. But um, all right, we're going to end it there. Any questions, please let us know. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day, and I will speak to you all very, very soon.